Hey guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of probability. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us a pair of dice is thrown five times. So we have been given number of times that die is thrown. So a pair of die is thrown five times. For each throw, a total of five is considered to be a success. So basically, we have been told that the sum of five should come when you throw two dice five times. So that is considered a success. And we have been asked the question that if probability of at least four successes, that is given to us as k upon 3 raised to 11, then we need to find the value of k. So let's do this question. So I know a pair of dice is thrown. And if I talk about the options also that are given to us as the value of k, they are 82, 164, third option, 123, and the last option, 75. So we need to figure out which one of the options is the correct answer for the question given to us. Let's solve that. So if I try to solve this, I know I have been given that a probability is asked for at least four success and a success means basically you should get a sum of total five when you throw a pair of dice. We know already that when we throw a pair of dice, the sample space that we have here is one, 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 two, one, three, two, one, four, one, 5, 1, 6. Likewise, we have 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Then we have 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6. 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6. And the last would be 6, 1. 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4. Till end of that 6, 6. So basically, we have in total number of sample points as 36 and if i first find just the probability of having the sum equal to 5 when i throw a pair of dice i get that sum 5 with 1 4 then with 2 3 then i get it with 3 2 and the last would be 4 1 so we get this for four outcomes the sum as 5 so that gives me favorable outcomes as 4 and the total possible outcomes we already know that's 36. So we get the probability of getting the sum 5 is 1 by 9. So I get that idea. Now, if I use the idea of binomial theorem here because that needs to be used here, I have P as 1 by 9 which is the probability or the success of getting the sum 5. So if I find the other idea that is Q, Q is basically probability of not getting the sum 5 and that is 1 minus 1 by 9, that is 8 by 9. Now I can find Q doing 1 minus probability because I know P plus Q should be always equal to 1 because the total probability is always 1. So I get Q from this idea. Also I have been told that number of times that pair of dice is thrown as 5 times. So if I just apply the idea, we have been asked probability of getting at least four successes. So I get this as probability of having four success or probability of having five success. So probability of having four success, if I use that idea, we know for the binomial theorem. Probability using binomial theorem is given by NCR, P raised to R, Q raised to N minus R. We already know P, we already know Q, we also know N. Now we just need to refer to for R. Here we have been told at least four successes. So for four successes, it becomes R becomes four here. And at five successes, we will have R as five. So you get this as 5C4. P raised to, so 1 by 9 raised to R, that is 4, and Q raised to, that is 8 by 9 raised to 
n minus r so 5 minus plus for this you get 5c5 1 by 9 raised to 5 and 8 by 9 raised to 5 minus 5 that is z so you get this entire thing toning out 5c4 basically becomes 5 1 by 9 raised to 4 and here you get 8 by 9 raised to 1 so 8 upon 9 plus 5c5 that is 1 here you get 1 upon 9 raised to 5 into 1 so you get the understanding here this becomes 5 into 8 so 40 upon 9 raised to 5 plus here you get 1 into 1 into 1 so 1 upon 9 raised to 5. So you get the answer here as 41 upon 9 raised to 5. So that becomes your answer for probability of at least 4 successes. Now if I just see the answer here. I was given probability of at least 4 successes in terms of k upon 3 raised to 11. So if I try to make my denominator in terms of 3 raised to 11, let's do that. So 4 successes I have, I can write that as 41 upon 9, I can write that as 3 square. So 3 square the whole raised to 5. So that makes it 41 upon 3 raised to 10. What I'll do here is I'll multiply both sides by 3. So you get this turning out to become. 123 upon this becomes 3 raised to 11. So I converted my 41 upon 9 raised to 5 in terms of 3 raised to 11. So if I just compare it now, 120 upon 3 raised to 11 was equated with 3 k upon 3 raised to 11. So I get the value of k after comparison here as 123. So if I see the option that matches here with the question, the answer is option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So first we use the idea of a pair of dice. We have 36 outcomes out of that. We get the sum 5 for five out, 4 outcomes out of 36. So P becomes 1 by 9. Q is 1 minus P. So 1 minus 1 by 9. That is 8 by 9. And you throw this pair of dice 5 times. So N is 5. Then I just use the idea of binomial theorem. That says probability can be found out by NCR P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. We had P, we had Q. We also have total number of times you are throwing the pair of dice that is 5. So R you get at least 4 successes means you get 4 success or 5 success. So you put R as 4 and 5 consecutively to get different answers. And if you solve it you get that as 41 upon 9 raised to 5. But when I convert it into the terms of denominator, making it 3 raised to 11, I get the numerator turning 123. So if I equate it with k upon 3 raised to 11, the value of k becomes 123. So answer in this case becomes option C. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12 as well as JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on GW. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.